Hey guys, this is what I've been working on for the past couple of hours. I bought a Space Marine Battle Force a while back, uh, but I wanted the Rhino to be uh, interchangeable for a Razorback. So I was waiting around looking on eBay for a while, uh, waiting for a cheap um, Razorback turret to come up uh, that I could add to my Rhino. I raised back, uh, I um, magnetized it um, so that I could uh, change it into a Razorback when I needed to uh, when I assembled it uh, but I just didn't get around to buying one so I thought I'd build my own uh, seeing as I've got a little bit better at uh, scratch building stuff uh, in the past few weeks so without further ado Here's my couple of hours work. Right, so as you can see, it's a assault cannon uh, turret, complete with base. Right, the base is just a sheet of plastic card, some plastic card details uh, on there. And there's a top from a Games Workshop starter set paint pot uh, that I've just cut down. It was a nice shape to use as like a, a turret mount. There's a cog um, that's the, like the uh, part that would rotate, um, and I've put a magnet on the top. I was uh, trying to work out for a while actually how to um, make the uh, raised back turret. Like so that it could rotate. Uh, I was trying to pin it on and everything, but um, sort of the easiest way is just to put a magnet on, and then I can take it off for uh, weapon destroyed results and stuff. Uh, there's a few rivets on here, um, and a vent that I put on there just to add a bit of detail. Uh, that'd be nice to paint. Okay, the actual turret. There it goes. Right, the actual turret is twin linked assault cannon. I tried to make the top similar to that of uh, the Razorback <coughs> turret that you get uh, with the Razorback kit. Um, yeah, the assault cannon is just made from some ordinary uh, plastic card round tubing. I've used some pens for the housing for the um, assault cannons because uh, uh, why pay for plastic card, big plastic card um, tubes when you can just use a free pen? That's what I always say. So uh, yeah, there's a magnet in the bottom there, so it can attach to the uh, turret mount. And uh, I was trying to work out for ages how to. <coughs> excuse me how to uh, make it so that I could um, uh, show the ammo feed somehow uh, and I was trying to put ammo belts in and that was just way too complicated so I settled for two Games Workshop starter set paint pots and they're basically big ammo drums at the back I wanted them fairly like big and chunky because it is an assault cannon I imagine it sort of similar to a minigun so uh, uh, firing at pretty rapid rate, rate of fire, so uh, it needs pretty big um, ammo hoppers to, otherwise they just run out fairly quickly. So I've got fairly chunky ammo drums with some rivet details on the back. Don't know whether you can see that. I'll post some pictures at the end of the video and a bit of plastic card at the end. So I'm um, I'm fairly happy with the way it came out. It's a pretty good scratch build actually. Um, it's uh, one of the best I've done so far. Um, it's only a side project, so uh, hopefully um, I'll get a video tutorial uh, up next time I get a uh, Rhino Razorback kit of how to make these because uh, I don't think the uh, twin assault cannon uh, comes with the uh, Razorback kit so um, 
it'd be kind of useful for you guys on YouTube um, if I could show you how I made this. It's fairly simple. Um, right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.